It's no secret the coronavirus and the response to it have impacted every industry in some way. And today we're getting a glimpse into how it's impacting surrogacy. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now with what she's learned. Shira. Tammy, many women here in Idaho are surrogates for couples in other countries, but because of the pandemic, those surrogates are giving birth to these babies, but their parents aren't necessarily able to be there for it. We bring hope to intended parents who uh, are struggling with uh, fertility. Parham Zar is the managing director of Egg Donor and Surrogacy Institute in Beverly Hills, which has been in business for 20 years. But lately, because of the pandemic, some parents are grasping onto that hope a little tighter these days. A lot of the intended parents that, that, uh, that we work with are out from outside of the United States. So unfortunately, because of the travel restrictions and because of COVID, uh, they have not been able to be present for the birth of their child. And a lot of them, he says, still have not been able to see their child. We've had over 30 babies that have been born to outside of the country parents in within the last uh, four or five months. Emily Chrislip is experiencing this firsthand. And, you know, initially, and like, well, the best part is I don't have to take care of a newborn. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like um, I almost jinxed myself. The Nampa woman is a surrogate for a family in China. And because of the coronavirus, she's now been caring for their baby for five months. She says it's definitely been an adjustment, taking care of the baby while keeping boundaries up personally. It was very tough at first. Now, you know, I think obviously I'll be emotional when she goes with her parents, but, uh, you know, she belongs with her parents and we're just the long term babysitters until she can get to them. We um, had three babies that we took care of. At a host of possibilities in Boise, CEO Nicole Kelchner Williamson found herself caring for babies with intended parents in China and Spain. My agency, you know, we kind of talked to some specialists and we really felt that asking the surrogate to take care of the baby afterwards was a really big um, commitment. All parties now keeping hope that this pandemic shall pass and the babies will soon be reunited with their parents. You know, we just couldn't imagine not being able to have our own kid and so being able to give that to somebody else is the biggest gift of all. Everything will come to an end. And I think just remembering that this is temporary and that providing that baby and those parents with as much comfort as possible during this time is really the key. Now, as you can imagine, this is extremely tough on the parents. Emily tells me she does video chats once a week with them and sends them videos and pictures of the baby every day. Meantime, Parham says some surrogates aren't able to take care of the baby, understandably, so his agency will step in and take care of them as well. Wow. Okay, thank you, Shira.